Open world games, they're fun to explore, but they could be annoying. Maybe you're looking Which side is Horizon Forbidden West on? It's theory time! Hey, hey, hey! I am the Global Cherry, and we will theorize things to expect for Horizon Forbidden West, as well as uncover a secret truth about the game. Before we begin, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and enjoy the show! In Horizon Zero Dawn, a robotic invasion known as the Feral Plague threatens world extinction, all because Eon Nusk chose violence in the morning with an idea to create military robots. That idea failed, and the robot self-replicated, consuming every living thing. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. He pushed his problems onto Elizabeth Sobek, who initiates Project Zero Dawn to preserve life. This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. An AI called Gaia was created for this operation. An AI named Hades was created to destroy the world if Gaia was stupid. The project was successful, but a signal woke Hades from his nap, forcing Gaia to self-destruct. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. Elizabeth created a clone of herself in hopes of one day destroying Hades and the old world is dead. She dead too. People now live in the world of machines with tribes like the Nora Hippies, Osiram, and Karja Sun Worshippers. Praise the sun! The Elizabeth clone is our protagonist, Aloy, who was left to the Nora Hippies as a baby. They immediately put her up for adoption and she was raised by her guardian Rost as an outcast. <laughs> Despite being berated by the tribe, she had a heart of gold and curiosity that could kill a cat. Stay away, no mother! Ooh. She finds a focus piece in an ancient ruin that gave her perceptive abilities and a vision of the old world, beginning her quest for the truth. His little big man. Her guardian Ross told her about a Nora ceremony called the Proving, which can help her seek answers. Ross trains her for the competition, and she grows up to become a strong and beautiful woman, winning the Proving. Her celebration gets cut short by an invasion of a cult called the Eclipse, and everyone dies. Aloy barely survives the attack and falls off the cliff like Mufasa from The Lion King. She decided to further seek answers about her origins and learns about Project Zero Dawn from a man named Silence. She also discovers that he is Hades' right-hand man. Awkward! In the end, Aloy defeats Hades and Silence holds him hostage. Remember me? We've still so much to discuss. In the DLC The Frozen Wilds, Aloy encounters a strange shaman of the Banuk tribe who predicted the existence of a storm plaguing the Forbidden West. His intuition was impressive, but uh, he's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Uh, can I just scent your fingers? Uh, no. She decides to check out this anomaly with her friends by journeying there ranging from San Francisco, Yosemite, and beyond. This uncharted territory remains a treacherous unknown for the Karja, although Aloy's guardian visited that area to seek vengeance on the culprits behind his daughter's murder. Like Liam Nielsen, he found them, and he killed them. I will find you. And I will kill you. Half a year after the events of Zero Dawn in the Forbidden West, Aloy searches for the source of the violent supercell storms flooding the canyons, as well as the mysterious red blight destroying the flora and fauna. After saving the world once, she has to stop it from going extinct again. Give the girl a break! Maybe she's trying to bring Gaia to her true form by restoring her subfunction Apollo. This is an artificial world, so there's a chance that she could repair the technology of the old ones. Apollo, the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us. A YouTuber mentioned that an archive Homer existed before the Pharaoh Plague and could possibly be used to restore Apollo. Horizon Forbidden West no longer focuses on Aloy's place in the world, but rather the mysteries of the Old Ones that need to be unraveled. Since the time of the Old Ones. What about the Young Ones? On her journey to prevent extinction, she encounters hostile threats in the form of new tribes and machines while traversing along lush valleys, dry deserts, snowy mountains, tropical beaches, and ruined cities and oceans. 
She'll be able to swim indefinitely underwater with a diving mask, but she is not the Little Mermaid. So she needs to be careful, although underwater exploration will be great to uncover hidden treasures. A few of the new threatening machines that will challenge her are the Sunwings and the Slitherfangs. What is with these names? Some returning machines that will haunt her are the Watcher that will watch her like a creepy uncle, and the Charger. Nope, not the one that charges your phone! As Aloy cannot bear the weight of the world on her shoulders alone, she reunites with her old friends and forges alliances with new factions. There won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. One new tribe that resides in the Forbidden West is the Utaru, a society of peaceful gardeners. Another tribe that is not to be trifled with are the Tanakh rebels. They are very aggressive and bloodthirsty. In fact, silence helped them bend machines to their will, leading them to commandeer them in the released gameplay. That snake is up to something. Machines. The gameplay begins with Aloy sending her Osram friend Erend to seek a device that tracks the storms, but after some time passed, she became concerned for his absence. Traversing in the forest, she discovers the vanguard unconscious and hears that Erend has been captured by the Tanakh tribe led by a ruthless leader named Regala. Her enemies are super strong and now much more difficult to defeat. They're much smarter with their unique behavior and fluid attacks. Aloy was not going to let her friend die, so she prepared herself thoroughly to rescue him using her wiles and agility. Big brain power! Thanks to the developers, Aloy can visit vibrant towns to stock up to purchase outfits with perks, new weapons, potent potions, and food. She will also have a huge variety of weapons at her disposal like her trusty bow and her stabby spear that she'll be able to strengthen at the workbench, unlocking mod slots and new abilities. She is also given a fair advantage in complex terrain, with freeform climbing and important tools like the shield wing, a focus scanner, and a pull caster. A shield wing is like an electric parasol and a pull caster is a grappling hook. Now prepared, she sneaks into the Tanakh territory and stealthily takes out some of her enemies like a ninja. Until she gets caught, she used a Valor search system to her advantage by building up her attacks, creating a powerful cinematic one, causing an explosive blast. The dinosaur-like claw striders hear the blast and immediately chase her like a Jurassic Park movie. With her focus device, she finds the nearest grappling point and uses her grappling hook to evade the creatures. She hears about the location of her missing friend and since the walking distance is long, she gets a sweet ride by taming a mechanical beast. She finds Erend and rescues him only to be face to face with the Tanakh tribe riding on a tremor tusk, a mammoth-like creature. Don't hurt me please! She fights them off using weapons, unique bombs, tools and even use the enemy's weapons against them. Once the battle was won, Erin gives her the device that could track the storms, leading to their next clue. Overall, I am looking forward to Horizon Forbidden West on February 18th. Guerrilla Games goes all out for their fans and gives them the best experience. They prioritize work-life balance for their developers and manage to make a game better than most companies. Ubisoft has been high this month as they somehow managed to break Uno, the card game that destroys friendships. They killed Uno! How, How do you break Uno? Putting their chaos aside, people criticized Aloy's face for looking strange from being chubby. There's nothing wrong with her face. If you're someone who is annoyed about small petty details like chubby cheeks, here's the door, Patricia! Appreciate the game's beauty as is! New updates for the Forbidden West include no loading screens. You can also upgrade the PS4 version of Forbidden West to the PS5 version for free, and you can play on 60 FPS. I fell in love with Horizon Forbidden West upon seeing the trailer because of how amazing it looks. Horizon Zero Dawn was so memorable to me and many others due to the compelling narrative and the breathtaking world. I'm sure Horizon Forbidden West will do the same. Comment down what you think of Horizon Forbidden West and your theories on it. Will it be successful and meet everyone's expectations? Thank you for watching and that's all.